the Metropolitan <clears throat> Museum of Art? Um, really, to see the transition of not only the concern, but the time that was put for the development where the art could be understood as precious American treasure. A lot of times we as humans, we can't see the whole picture because we don't hold the book. For me, seeing how much uh, Matt's father, William Arnett, had put in gathering all of these beautiful artifacts that is now American treasures. But in a sense, sometimes the doors of the treasure keepers don't always open easy. They have to be demonstrated to, they have to be shown the process of importing. And that's what William Arnett did. He not only went around, came around us as individuals. Because by the time I met Mr. Arnett, I had got my title from the Lord of London in 1982 that said I was an African-American artist. So I try to live up to that, that I am an authentic African-American artist, that my works have been insured by one of the greater insurance companies for their arts. So a lot of times we as people, we don't see the services that we render. And I think after going so many times that you've been with uh, Bill and Matt and me with a lot of the quilters, seeing a lot of their laboring process, are, I, I felt like another son of those women, no matter who they were, not, not just a helping on to help them up and off the bus or encourage them beyond whatever happens to keep doing your constructive manner because it's a blessing, it's a, it's a skillful blessing. But I knew that by this time, 